Good morning, boys, parents and staff, and welcome to this week's Video Headmasters Catch-Up. It is Friday the 22nd of May, and in just a few hours' time, we're going to break up for a well-deserved half-term holiday. Um, please make sure, parents, that you have read with great care and attention the letter that I sent out to you on Wednesday containing important information about the potential for the school to reopen on Monday the 1st of June. There is a link in the newsletter in case you have missed it. It is also on the website. The full risk assessment is also available on the website and again there will be a link in the newsletter um, and you are strongly recommended to make sure that you read it carefully so that you can make an informed decision about whether to send your child into the school or not. That said, there's been some wonderful work in evidence again this week and I'm looking forward to going through my headmaster's dispatches in just a few moments. But I'd really like to commend my Year 11 boys. This is their last official day of school before they leave us. And boys, I must say I've been incredibly impressed by your attitude and work ethic in this first half of term. It must have been incredibly difficult for you to have the rug tugged from under, underneath your feet when the government curtailed the exams. I'm sure in one way it was good news, but in another, bad, because you've set your sights on that. It's been an objective that you've been working towards for some time. Um, and I'm really impressed that you have continued to show routine and good habits in these last few weeks. When many schools have not demanded work or asked or set work of their year 11s, we have done so on a voluntary basis, really, and you have risen to that challenge and you have shown, I think, the kind of values that we would want to from Kingswood House. An ability to make informed and wise choices. And ultimately, life is all about making wise decisions and wise choices. We can get lots of things right, but if we make one or two poor decisions, particularly in a row, the consequences can be extremely serious. You have started, I think, with the right platform that will serve you well in the next phase of your education. So I'm looking forward to joining you in your final form period a little bit later this morning, but on behalf of all of the staff here at Kingswood House, we wish you well and thank you. Moving on now to Headmaster's Dispatches. Well done in year one and year two who have com continued to complete show and tell uh, with enthusiasm and jollity for over five weeks. So. Commendations to James Wang for a great postcard to Mrs. Henry, Ibrahim Barna, well done for some super mass work, and Yusuf Sharif for, again, some excellent mass work, well done. Uh, Mrs. Henry's cake-making skills have yet again been in evidence, um, and all of the boys have produced wonderful recipes in year three, and indeed some cakes themselves, so do look out for them in the newsletter. Um, additionally, Cameron Edwards has made a great word search um, enrichment challenge based on the Good Samaritan. Um, Hugo Hawksley has made a 3D inset. Fraser Schmidt has been busy doing a typing certificate. Ben Scudamore has done an amazing newspaper report on a spider. Sebastian Phillips has made a stick man in forest school. Torin has done an amazing newspaper report on a tiger who escaped from the zoo. Better watch out for that. Frankie Wintle has been investigating his family history which he has thoroughly enjoyed. Lewis Lockhead has written a great poem about the Blitz, and Ryan has done lots of measuring in litres and millilitres. In year four, Mrs Lambert is incredibly proud of all of you. You've embraced home learning, being positive, enthusiastic, and being absolute stars. But a special mention for Peter Summers, who joined at the start of term. And really, he's just joined in, made new friends, even remotely. And Peter, you have just demonstrated great Kingswood House values, even in these early days. So a huge well done from Mrs Lambert and from me. Well done, Peter. In 4S, Aaron has been growing his bean plant and filling in the bean diary as an extra activity. So well done to you. Um, and commendations have been awarded to Sam. Atkins for a great time graph, Fraser Blythe for a great book review, Jack for animal adaptations uh, work, Nathan for great uh, work on animal adaptations, and Lucas for talking to Miss Smith about four different animals and how they adapt. So Miss Smith, really pleased with you for us as well. Now, into year five, 
Alex Howarth has really impressed his mum. He has been working really independently at home, setting his alarm via Alexa and really showing great independence working by himself. So well done to you from mum and also to, from Mrs. Siva. Jackson Worth has taken a really impressive approach to his literary sessions and been nominated by Mrs. Austin. Uh, Miss... Sears Siva has been really pleased with some science work from James Miller and Ben Schumacher. And Dylan Newman's been working really hard in Mrs. Siva's maths group. Joshua Draper has been juggling all of his many commitments, uh, both at home and via school, and staying on top of everything. So well done, Joshua. And Jack Guiney, uh, Mrs. Siva never tires of your early morning smile. It is wonderful, quote unquote. Uh, Will Baker has uh, really impressed Mr. Clark, um, Daniel Giles as well with his diligent work and in general Mr. Clark we'd just like to say a big thank you to all of 5C because you have made registration his favourite part of the day, lovely to hear. Into year six Christos Luca has been busy um, researching War Horse. Um, Mrs Dean would like to say a big well done to all of 6C for their work in the first half of the term. They've been fantastic. In 6F, Bo Clark, Theo Walker, Zach Howes and Arlo Sewell have worked really hard. And Joseph Huang, Harry Lation, Enzo Reed and Otis Edwards have also displayed a consistently high standard of work throughout the weeks just gone by. And Archie Blythe has been nominated by Mrs Webb for some fantastic Excel spreadsheets and a PowerPoint quiz. Ms. Ruiz would like to nominate uh, John T and Emir for completing nine different pieces of work, map work, for their geometrosity, I um, hope I pronounced that correctly, mass work, so well done. And Arlo Saywell, um, another nomination here from Mrs. Austin for his literacy lessons. He's doing really well and showing great understanding and creative learning, so well done, Arlo. Into year seven. Well done to Charlie um, in 7BL. You've been punctual to registration and well behaved and very polite. Uh, Matthew Mullen, another nomination for you for great positivity and great listening from Miss Black. And well done to all of uh, 7BL for their excellent work ethic. They have learned how to be best supported and will often choose to stay behind for additional support work before moving on to independent work. So Miss Ruitz is very pleased with you. Uh, Mr. Barrett is pleased with Ollie Ward, Yvonne Tutai, Ben Choi and Owen Courtney for all of your hard work in science. And in year eight, a special mention here to Archie Eperon, who has been nominated both by his mum and by Madame Taylor. He had some terrible news a couple of weeks ago, losing, unfortunately, his grandfather. Um, but he has responded with great Kingswood House values. He's been mature, he's been helpful, and kind and loving. And his mum and dad are very proud of him. And so are we. Archie, well done. Um, well done also to Jack, uh, Joseph, Folu and Zach in Year 7 for all of your geography work. Mr Lord is pleased with you. Um, into 8. Biel, Theo, Venzalapelli, Harvey Weems and Folu again have persevered, trying to really push through in mathematics using ratios this week. So well done to you and also to Marcus Glenn for providing, again, yet more super work. So Miss Ruitz is pleased with all of you. Um, and more nominations here follow again. So that's, I think, your third this week. Follow, wow, that's fantastic. Uh, great work in science. Harvey Weems as well, that's your second. Will Hamilton... Um, whose birthday I believe it is this week, a lockdown birthday to our year eight head boy. Happy birthday, Will. Um, I think there's a little surprise for you in the newsletter, actually. And Barnaby Hill, well done to you for your accuracy in science work. Moving into the seniors, Cameron Allenby and Hugo Davis have worked really well for Mr Hendry. Angelo Cooper has started cycling, um, beginning at uh, 5K and now working up to distances of 14 and he pushes on six days a week. Some days are hard when it's windy, but he never gives up. So Mr. Twinley is really proud of you. And also to Theo Spick and Jack Beckman for giving a comedic presentation during form time to lift everybody's spirits. Oh, I wish I'd dropped in on that one. 
And well done to Ollie Savage. This is your first nomination, I believe. Mr. Barrett is really pleased with you for your science work. Well done, Oliver. Uh, Madame Taylor would like to say a big well done to Year 9 French group for their exemplary effort, achievement and online behaviour. And Miss Ruitz would like to single out Ryan Luneman for working like a trooper this term. And also Sam Slaney and Eddie Fisher for perseverance and going back to apply corrections to work they needed to correct whilst using Hegarty Maths. Well done, boys. Into year 10, Harry Griffiths has been planning and researching various projects for the garden. Um, some suggestions have been a bee hotel or a hedgehog house, um, but he's really impressed Mr. Bailey with his motivation, so well done to you. Um, Theo Byrne has been working brilliantly in science for Miss Black, and Theo again and Hassan have been nominated by Mr. March for their English efforts, so well done to you. And James Tottenham has been nominated for great maths notes throughout the whole term by Miss Ruitz. So well done to James. And into year 11, Ben Inglis, great work with computer programming. Um, and in fact, Mrs. Webb remains very proud of the whole year 11 ICT cohort. They've done really well. Um, Madame Taylor would like to thank Jack Fernandez, um, our year 11 senior head boy, and Tom Gibson for all of their efforts throughout the French GCSE course. They've been punctual, they've worked to the best of their ability, they've been encouraging and supportive, and they have had a good rapport. And Madame says she's going to miss you both. Um, so we will say au bianto to both you, Jack, and Tom, um, and indeed to all of our Year 11 boys, um, which rounds things off nicely. Mr Ruckman and Mr Sikdeo would like to send you a message which is, we wish you all every success following this, your last official day. You've been a great credit to the Kingswood House Way, following your endeavours during a very challenging first half of the term, with no formal exams to work towards, but you've not let your standards drop, and all of the staff have been really impressed with you and wish you well. Please do stay in touch. You are still officially at least Kingswood House students until the end of the term. We would very much like to include you to some degree in our prize giving in whatever form that takes yet to be decided. But more importantly than ever, the Kingswood House values will stay with you and serve you well. So everybody, I wish you all a wonderful half term, especially to our Year 11 cohort. Thank you.